Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and first impression of the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. So this kind of just dropped, I think it dropped sometime in January and it was in stores. I think Ulta had it available like February 2nd. I actually picked it up on, I think it was like February 3rd or 4th. But I am finally barely being able to sit down and film a review, first impression, and a tutorial for you guys. Um, I decided to not even touch this or try it until I filmed this video because I really wanted to see, um, I really wanted you guys to see my first impression, my reaction to it. Um, I think this foundation has been getting some mixed reviews. So I want to give you guys my review because it's different for everyone. I think everyone's skin type, everyone's you know needs for when it comes to foundation are really different. So I know that I have very specific needs and specific things that I like in my foundation when it comes to my skin. So I just wanted to give you guys my review and show you guys what it looks like, the packaging and everything. So this is the packaging basically. So this is part of their Double Duty Beauty line. This is the matte foundation. So like I said before, my skin is very oily. Um, my skin can get oily like literally five minutes after I apply foundation. So it's very important for me to find a very matte foundation. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. And by the way, this is the shade Tan Honey. I use the shade Tan Sand in um, the Amazonian Clay foundation that they have. Um, so this was, I think, one shade lighter than that because I believe it does oxidize. So I wanted to make sure that I got the right shade. So this is basically what the bottle looks like. Kind of just looks like a giant shape tape concealer. Um, when you open it, this is the applicator right here. And that, that's pretty much it. If you would like to know my first impression, my review, and a little tutorial on this foundation, please keep watching. Before this, I actually pre-concealed. If you saw my last video when I show you guys my out the door makeup routine, I kind of talked about it a little bit. So I pre-concealed, I did my brows, I obviously did my eye makeup in my lips because I really wanted the main focus of this video to be on the review of the foundation. So with what I have on my face, I'm going to go ahead and go with my beauty blender and start blending it all out. Hopefully I didn't put too much because I feel like I did. So I wear the color Tan Sand in their Amazonian Clay Foundation. So I basically just matched it to that and this was the closest match that they had. So far it looks like it has pretty good coverage. So compared to the Amazonian Clay that I use, I'm not getting the same like thick formula as that one. This one seems to be, I don't know why, a little bit more like lightweight. Um, but it's supposed to be heavy duty because it's the Shape Tape Foundation. So I'm going to apply some to blend out my neck here. If you use the Amazonian clay, you probably know what I mean. Most of the like spots that I have here um, are usually covered up pretty well when I use the Amazonian clay. And I feel like right now I'm having to work a little bit to cover those spots. I also really cake on my foundation though, so that may be why. Maybe I just need like a few more layers. I feel like it may be different once it sits for a little bit on the skin. So I'm just going to keep like blending it out and see, you know, like how it 
sits on my face in a couple of minutes. I mean, it looks good on camera so far. I feel like my voice is really raspy today. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna go over it with a brush really quick just to make sure it's all blended out well. You don't want like any harsh lines, so that's the main point for me of going over it with a brush. But when I'm applying it, I feel like, you know, it just it's making you look more natural, which is obviously the point of, you know, when you're doing makeup, you want your makeup to look as natural as possible. You want to make it look like it's your skin as much as possible, which I think that's what it's doing, and I think maybe that's what they were going for. Um, but I guess for me, for a person who just has a lot of like acne scars and like acne flare-ups, I prefer something that's more like cakey, like heavy duty. So the Amazonian Clay Foundation is something that has been doing that for me. I might change my mind. I'm not saying that I don't like this product. I do like it. It's just taking me a little bit more time to apply. And I think that's just me being picky about like the spots on the face that I really want to cover. But it is covering pretty well. There were just some spots that I had to go over like with a brush and like reapply more foundation. I love all of Tarte's products so I'm not surprised that you know they come out with some great stuff every single time. I don't think that this will become more popular than the Shape Tape Concealer. I think the Shape Tape Concealer is something that's going to be popular for like ever. Um, but I don't think this is going to be like as popular as the concealer. Um, that's just something that's become, you know, something that's just like blown up and people love a lot. But I personally think the concealer is better than the foundation. But I'm going to let it sit as I like apply more of my stuff and see how it kind of blends in with the other products that I'm going to use right now. So I'm actually going to go in with the um, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer in light medium neutral. And I'm going to put some under my eyes and basically just conceal the spots that I want to brighten up. Seems to be blending pretty good with the other products that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and set that with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So this is kind of more of like a softer look too. I didn't do anything too heavy for this look. I really wanted to do something pink today because I didn't have time to do any like Valentine's Day look. So this is basically my attempt at like a late Valentine's Day. So now I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit with the same Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I always like to do my jawline to carve it out. So now I think I'm going to go ahead and put some highlight on. And I'm going to do that with my Carly Bible eyeshadow and highlighter palette. Okay, highlight is done. So I'm going to go ahead and top off this look with um, my bottom lashes. I'm going to put my L'Oreal Telescopic on my bottom lashes really quick, very lightly. I don't like to put too much. That's a good amount right there. So now I'm basically just going to spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus and that'll top off the look. 
All right, so this is pretty much the final look. I really wanted to focus this video on my first impression of this foundation. I had never used it before. This was the first time I ever used it, opened it, took it out of the packaging. So I have to say that after it sat on my skin for a little bit, I definitely started to see the um, fuller, heavier coverage that it was supposed to have. Um, uh, it's definitely double duty beauty, so I understand you know why this was a part of that line. Um, I do, like I said before, really like the heavy coverage foundations. You'll almost always see me wearing a heavy coverage foundation because of the scars that I have. It's really, really important to me. I really compared it to the Amazonian clay for most of this tutorial. So I use a lot of Tarte products. I think that's pretty obvious to you guys now. I use a lot of Tarte products, so you know I have a lot of room to compare. So this one, compared to my Amazonian clay foundation that I've been using for years, um, I don't think this is going to top my Amazonian clay foundation. I think it's still going to be my favorite, and that may be because I've used it for so long and I'm so used to it. But it might take me a little bit of time to get used to this and for it to become my favorite. It might become my favorite, I think. It's it's starting to look really well as it sits more on my skin. So I'll probably maybe do like an update or something. And you'll definitely see me use this more in tutorials because I want to get, you know, a good use out of it and really see if I end up, you know, really liking it as much as others say that they do. So I'll kind of do like an update and then if I do like another tutorial, I'll kind of just tell you guys like how I'm liking it. Um, other than that, that was pretty much the end of this tutorial, this first impression. Um, my first impression overall is it's a great foundation. I don't think it's going to top the concealer and it doesn't top my Amazonian clay, but it still has pretty good coverage and I see myself using it quite a lot. All the products that I used in this video will be linked below as well as the products that I used to do uh, this look beforehand. Anything that I did off camera, I will still link those products so you guys can find them. You're seeing them, so why not? I'll go ahead and link them for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you guys later. This is the Double Duty Beauty line. That was really fast. Double Duty Beauty. Woo, I can say that really fast. <laughs> Dang. Hopefully, babe, this is the right color. Boom, I'm done. <laughs>